Hi, kiddo. Say hi. Hi, hi. You guys having fun? Yeah. Are we next to the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> Aloha from Hawaii. <laughs> We're in Kauai. That's true. Well, we've been here for almost a month. Uh, we all we're trying to do is just make the best out of it, driving around, exploring different beaches, playgrounds, keep ourselves busy, and explore this beautiful island. Yeah, so we've seen lots of sunsets here in Poipu, um, but we heard about this one beach um, called Polly Holly, um, which is the beach that is furthest out west. Um, and it's actually pretty far from here. Um, so we decided to picnic there, um, but driving there was definitely an adventure. Well, super bumpy here. Yeah. And it's like I'm going to shallow it off. <laughs> um, hey, Shay. Is it bumpy, guys? Yep, yeah. Bumpy road. Yeah. We're going to the beach to see a sunset and eat dinner. Yeah. Well, there's no really any fun. It's so much a spike and, and chips. Sprite and chips, that's for dinner? Yeah, 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 yikes. It was the longest two mile drive ever. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, the sunset is to die for. I think arguably it's probably the only place you can actually see the sun setting into the ocean without any sort of blockage of uh, trees and rocks. But there's a price to pay for it as well, which is just the mosquitoes. Maybe just us, I don't I know. I think because we went at dusk. Oh, that's true. And we made a pit stop in the bathroom before we went to the beach because it was such a long ride. And Charles got eaten up, and so did I. Man, you suck. This sand just sinks you right in. I want to take a picture of you. Just you. Jaja, can you move? Jaja, can you go down? Jaja, look at mom. And uh, I think they just got some of the most amazing playgrounds as well, where the kids just really enjoyed uh, playing around and also meet some local friends, local kids. Sometimes life goes easy, sometimes life goes do 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 do. Sometimes minds go crazy. Hi. Sometimes minds go do 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 do. Ooh, they're going do, into do, the do, volcano. Piggy, piggy back, won't you take? Me? There you are, Caitlin. Piggy, piggy back, won't you take? Me? Piggy back, won't you take? Go again. Piggy back, won't you take? Me? Piggy back, won't you? Piggy, piggy back. Come and go down the slide. You are. Hi, Cohen. You didn't like it? Sometimes life goes crazy. Sometimes life goes do 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 do. You tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me something, but show me, show me, show me, show me something else. Oh, 
you did. Hi. Okay. Hi. Go play. There's a green slide. Okay, go. You want to go to green slide? That's okay, go. Oh, you did? That's really fast. Okay, I'm watching. Oh my goodness. Good job. Uh, but another highlight here is that since we had some time here and we have the ocean at our disposal, is just try to teach the kids how to snorkel. And in if you have seen our previous videos, typically Caitlin is the brave one, but this time it's the reverse. Cohen just couldn't get enough of it. I mean, the guy is just taking his goggle in, like putting his head into the water and I like, hold his breath for like 20 seconds, pointing at every single fish possible. I am incredibly impressed. <laughs> Where Caitlin's like, no, no. So it's just a complete different dynamic when it comes to uh, snorkeling. Yeah, Cohen loves going to the beach now because he his idea of going to the beach is go going on daddy's back and looking in the water with his goggles and checking out fish. Um, so I'm glad he's finding that interesting. So hopefully we'll be able to introduce the actual snorkel gear to him. Um, Where he doesn't have to come off for air every 20 seconds. People here are just so nice. Mm -hmm. They really go out of their way to, uh, you know, make you feel like a part of the community, invite you to do things, uh, very generous. And we actually had a chance to, uh, you know, the few people that we know on an island, as she uh, taught us to do lace. I think that's how you say it, lace, yeah, right? Yeah. And how to crack a coconut. By the time we get done, this needle and this will be kind of sticky. But I've got so some wet down. wipes yeah. to wash off your hands. You can just point it all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you make two for Colin? Yeah. Hi, Mama. What color do you want to do next? So she did a pink one. You want to mix it up? Do you like pink? You might have to do like several wipes. It hit my knees. It's that was me. Oh, you got hit by a flower? Oh, oh no. Oh. You don't want to hit him like this or crack and all the water comes out. So hold it sideways and just get rid of the wax. It might spray you. <laughs> I saw some water. Did you? Yeah. Me too. Some juice. Coconut. Dude, it sounds like a like a rock, a rock hitting. Oh, whoa. Little bit. Okay. Little bit. 
you always try to open that that far down. In the middle well, I always of the want top. to open it. Okay, watch this guy. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. Oh. Who wants to try a drinky drink? How's the fresh coconut juice? It's or water? Delicious. Yeah, it's super yummy. And um, uh, at our place, one of the chair broke in terms of the leg of the chair. So I had to find a woodworker to, to fix it. And it's just this really nice, extremely nice uh, retired old man who not only fixed the leg, but invited our whole entire family over to make like little surfboards keychain where, um, you know, Kaylin just had a kick out of it. Dds more. Thank you, Kauai. You, you, you guys have been just amazing and really welcoming the visitors. Yeah, so my parents actually have been visiting this last week. So it's been nice to have a little bit break um, from the kids. Um, so we took advantage of some grandparent daycare and finally booked an excursion for the two of us. Um, and that was the Nepali Coast raft tour. Wait, hold on. I think this is the first excursion we did by ourselves in a long time. In a really long time. time. And we finally got to see the Nepali Coast up close and personal. Um, and it's just so beautiful. Like, Kauai is the garden island for a reason. And then we got to snorkel, I ran into Whoa. a few wait. turtles. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, the best part. Sorry. Um, dolphins. Tons of spinner dolphins were just swimming on our way up towards the Nepali coast. I really wanted to jump into the ocean and just swim with them, but obviously not allowed to do that. Hard working every day, I'm stressed out 24 7, babe. No, no timeouts. Wish we could fly away You and I Go to our favorite place Oh yeah, yeah Make special memories Together I'll be your company Now and forever I say we fly away You and me Go to our favorite place Feeling the sun on my face in a while Yeah, we're taking away
we're taking away We'll never calm down, we're going away Yeah, we're going away, you and me Feeling the sun on my face in a while Facing a wall Luckily, Charles took his Dramamine um, before the trip and he was fine. The currents started and we were going the opposite direction and it was brutal. Like, you're basically Hopping. riding a bull for 30 oh, minutes right. like on the water, bull. holding onto a rope and getting water splashed in your face. Yeah, um, insane. And apparently that's normal. That was quite an experience. Yeah, I, I think both of us was a little sore on the butt uh, for the next <laughs> couple of days. But yeah, it's definitely an experience. It's a must do. Um, I feel like very wild at heart on that raft. So, I mean, that pretty much wraps up our time in Kauai. I, I think we have one more week we here. We'll see here. what kind of adventure we can you know dig out. Um, but after that, we're hoping to go to Big Island and see some volcanoes. So until next time. We'll see you then.